Okay, so this is the Citroen Dispatch. It's a two liter HDI, which has been converted into a micro camper. Uh, previously, it was government owned. So it's been well looked after, obviously stalled in a garage overnight. Great daily vehicle as well. Uh, as you can see, it also has uh, two 100 watt solar panels on the roof. Uh, it's under two meters tall, so it can get into any car park with no problems. Uh, privacy glass has been professionally fitted, as you can see, and uh, works really well. Got the rear step, and it has. Uh, Wi-Fi, antennas, and the TV area on the roof. Okay, so inside the cab, uh, pretty standard, but it does have aircon, uh, which is like two and a half thousand pounds to have retrofitted. Um, so that is a big bonus. Uh, there's a fan switch there uh, for the, the fan in the rear over the bed and that blows in or blows out. Also the two lights uh, are ready. You could install a light bar maybe off one of them on the front. It's all installed, all the cables are installed and on the rear one you could have an outdoor working light or something over the rear. So that's all wired in. The stereo it is Bluetooth, so ideal, uh, or CD, or there is USB or auxiliary. There's also the, this is a bench seat, so a child could sleep. You can push these down, fold these the brackets down and uh, a child could use that as a bed with no problem right there's also a blind which either in the day or when you're away from the vehicle you can just pull that down it's a bit awkward with one hand on the camera but that can go down so people cannot see in the back and you could drive obviously like that if you wish okay so in the rear we have the lights uh, which are dimmable so the switch here is one for on one for off or when it's on press and hold to dim press and hold to brighten to show you so the lights are on off on or press and hold and they dim and press and hold and they brighten I will also put in some photos of the build of the uh, insulation going in uh, under the floor and on the walls and the ceiling uh, as well as the, the sound deadening uh, which all does help makes a difference.
so I've gone with a full sized bed. Um, so much more comfortable than the bench beds. So much more comfortable. And uh, of course, you get so much more storage. You can get so many boxes under the bed. It is uh, really impressive how much storage it does have. Of course, at night, there are the, uh, the window foils. But of course, there's also the blind, which you can just pull all the way down. And that stops people from uh, seeing in. Okay, so here we have uh, the solar controller for the two panels on the roof. Uh, there's also the carbon monoxide alarm. And there's a clock there with uh, a temperature gauge and a humidity gauge as well. And there we have uh, the connectors for if you have a Wi-Fi router. Uh, the aerials are on the roof and there's your normal TV uh, aerial as well, uh, digital. Uh, here we have, uh, I mentioned the light switch in the cab. Well, this is the rear, well, this will pull out and you could attach a work, a work light up onto the roof through that and the other switch, there's cables at the front where you could attach a light bar if wanted onto the front. There is the fan. Uh, that blows in or blows out as required and it also has a 1200 watt inverter okay so i've gone for a indoor outdoor cooking setup uh, with easy to use washing facilities and it basically a collapsible bowl so do your washing and empty that out so in the morning you could sit here with the door open uh, kettle on and toast and that works well works fine but of course being in England and it is, it is often wet and windy. You don't want to sit with the door open. So you can always get comfortable and sit back and, uh, and sit here and do your cooking. As well as the underbed storage, there is plenty under there. We can get a few box, couple of boxes as well as the water to barrels of water that's ample and of course you always need the IKEA kitchen spice racks that must is a must it also has numerous USB and 12 volt sockets and there's another two down there at the bottom of the bed as well. As I said, it is an indoor outdoor cooking system. And if you wanted to stand and cook outdoors, you could stand under here and be cooking. Uh, under shelter if need be so comes with a shower this is our shower again the tarp with the magnets I mean if you was on a campsite you would just use this uh, well that's, that's the shower head that is the pump which goes into a 20 litre bucket you fill that with your water, obviously. Where are we? 12 volt into there. And 
and then on and off and uh, yeah okay for a shower uh, to rinse the kids off after the beach or the animals or the dogs rather yeah one shower okay so it is a bit windy today but I, I do also use the tarp with these uh, magnets with the carabiners on as you can see and what I do, I fix them on there and I'll stay run them along there. And there are two poles under the bed and some guy ropes. And I would have that set up with, uh, with the camping table you can see there and a couple of camping chairs. Uh, they all live in here, they all will come with the van. And uh, that is my awning setup. But like I say, it is. It's a bit blustery today to set up. So, uh, plus, of course, when the awning's up, you can sit here, and that is part of the outdoor cooking setup that I have. Uh, you can sit out here and you can cook, and you obviously you can barbecue. But well, that's another option, three options really for cooking. Okay, so what also comes with the van, there is the uh, 12 volt, 240 volt cooler, uh, four canisters of gas, there is the campsite extension, so you can plug in if you're on a campsite, a uh, camping table, two camping chairs, uh, a porta potty and a gas heater. They will all come with the van. Okay, so uh, there she is. And she is for sale. Uh, like I say, Citroen Dispatch 2 litre HDI. Uh, there's the reg plate. If you want to. Uh, do an MOT check. Uh, MOT till February, so you've got a good eight months till next year. Uh, less than 93,000 miles on the clock. It's got a good, a good engine, two litre HDI. And with everything that I've shown you, I'm asking 8,000, which in today's market, I think is really good. Uh, that isn't for offers. I think that is priced well. It's priced to sell. Uh, I've seen things for a lot more on the market. Like I've said, previously government owned, so well looked after. And make it a good little camper for someone. Plus, it's an ideal for a daily run around. So, uh, best of both worlds. So if you're interested, I'll put my Instagram details here. And uh, please contact me. All right, good luck everyone.